2021. This one I got a call from my lady. She just bought this house and she's not getting enough hot water to, throughout the house and she's got one of those wall hung high efficiency pieces of shit in there. And uh, she thinks that's the source of the problem. So we're gonna go by there and see what's going on with it. You know I'm not a big fan of these high efficiency wall hung boilers but I decided to start working on it because I get a lot of calls for it. I usually tell people to go call whoever put that junk in there, let him deal with it. But I'm at the point where I'm going to have to start working on them, so here we go. Like over in Europe, I think 2005 that they, they made it mandatory, they ought to all be high efficiency. They only last like 15 years, it's junk. It's not going to last like an old style boiler. End up costing you more money in the long run with these, these things because when they break down all the parts, crazy money. There's so many parts on them. I don't know. I wouldn't want one in my house. I got one in my garage that just radiant heat, low temperature application, 110 going to the floor. That's that's what they're designed to run. That's the way they're designed to work. Not 180, the radiators. Everybody want everybody wants the uh, the rebate for putting them in. Gonna save the planet. Yeah, gonna save the planet, all right. Embrace the technology. Yeah, embrace the technology. Heard that before. In my uh, shower, upstairs and downstairs. The sink. Yeah, we gotta let it. Let it I just I just want to see what it is at this. Yeah. Well, that thing's loose as a goose, huh? It just, just, just happened two days ago. I mean, it really? was nice and tight. Uh, I have to get somebody up here to do it. Give it a minute. Because the showers, uh, especially if it's a new house, they have to set them for like 112, which is really low. So there is there is settings on the shower where I could I could open it up and get the water hotter. Definitely, because we can yeah. always put on cold and we can adjust it. So why, you know what I'm saying? Well, Maybe that's that's the code on the plumbing code. Okay. For, so for for the showers have to be anti scald All right. So if you're standing in there, yeah. it's not going to get that hot because it's on anti scald But right. that's why I'm coming in the kitchen here. I want to see what the temperature is here. I, I could hold my. I should be able to hold my hand on the 120. It should be hotter than that, and it doesn't seem to be getting no, very hot. Not at all. No. That's as hot as it gets right there. This is it, honey. Yeah, that's no ways. That's not. No, that's and when you enough. take a shower with that, it's yeah. like having a cold shower, really. Yeah, no good. Now you're saying they set the shower. What do you mean at the shower? At the point of the shower, or down below on the on the on the furnace itself? No, they're called anti scald valves, so you can set the handle to only go so so much. And that's upstairs. They yeah. do that each, oh, okay. They do that on each unit. In other yeah, words, I didn't know that. the handle go only goes so far and hot and then stops. Now if you move that I stop, hear. it'll go hotter. I hear you, I hear you. But only if the temperature in the unit is getting hot. It's yeah, this is this is probably only like Now this just happened. It's, I've had hot water all since I moved into this house. It's just recently. So I don't know what's going on because I haven't done anything. All right, we're going to look down the cellar. Okay. I just wanted to check this for us. Okay. So obviously, so you get a high efficiency boiler, you said? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the I'd, ones on the wall that are heat and... I'd roll my eyes too. Well, you know, I don't know enough shit from Chinola, but they're telling me this is the, the state of the art. Yeah. And with this here, you'll never have an issue. Yeah, right. It'll be great, you know, and my friend of mine just put one in in his house. Yeah, yeah. Paul, yeah, see, I this is. Here. He'll tell me what this exactly is. This is uh, this is definitely not hot enough. All right, let's let that run. Let's go look down, Solo. Who's that? The boss. That's my son. <laughs> my boss died a long time ago. That's my son. That's not my boss. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, you might think he's my boss. Be very careful. The, the ceiling is low here. Water collects down here, and I don't know why. Yes, I mean, that's something. Huh? What's the matter? It says 140. Oh. 
Uh, but it's not. Yes, yeah, so there's a tempering valve maybe here on this. Is this the hot water here? Now this here, uh, the only thing I did myself, mm. I turned it to seven because it was on six. I'm thinking, you know, maybe that was would make it hotter. That's that's the hot water. That's not. You don't have radiant heat in the house, do you? What is it? You don't have radiant heat in the house. What do you mean by that? It's that tempering valve that's a problem then. I have a, I have baseball. I don't know, don't know what you mean by radiant. Yeah, so radiant heat would be in floor heating. No, 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 with, no, 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 no. Okay. No, no. So we gotta. I think that's this tempering valve is bad. Let's turn it to max. Let's see what we're getting there. See, we're only getting. I think this tempering valve is probably bad. It definitely got hot water coming into it. But I mean to say. This tempering valve's bad right how here. How could it be bad? This was just put in there. I just bought this house. This, I haven't even. I lived. Uh, two, September will be. Well, two I'm years. letting you know it's coming in nice and hot. Yeah. And it's, you know, mixing with the cold here. Yeah. And it's on its max. See yeah. what it says max? Well, I just. I turned it to it's on. It's on max. And it's not, and going, it's up not going up hot. I mean, the, the thermometer right there, it's 100 degrees. Oh. So we got so, a bad tempering valve so there. So this whole unit here? Yeah, that needs to be replaced. Is that a very expensive? Yeah, yeah, that's definitely not going to be no 20 bucks. <laughs> I didn't think it would be 20 bucks, but yeah. I need to say like thousands? No, 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 probably maybe 250 or something, a couple hundred bucks. Alright, so this this is, this is just comes the whole unit right here. Yeah, that's a tempering now see, valve. Now see, I'm feeling heat on this here. You know, this hair is... Well, look at me, it's 100 degrees. Yeah. You see it's 100 degrees? I do. That's yeah. going to your faucets. Yeah. The boiler's right. set at 140 for yeah. hot water. So, so it's not even getting It's it. coming in at 140. Mm hmm Okay, and it's being mixed with cold mm -hmm. down and going out. It's on max. Mm hmm And you're only going out at 100 degrees. So that's what your problem is. This tempering valve's bad. Oh, I see. Okay. So I got to get another one. Let me, uh... Okay. Let me get it and see if I can locate one that's the same, the same one as this. Now, I have a book upstairs for this. Do you need the book? No, I'm going gonna to see what we got here and see if I can get the same one. Okay. If not, we could do something different. Now that light just went off. Yeah, because it's, cause it's that one. I'm going to see if I can get another one. We've got a bad tempering valve there, so let's see if we can get one. Okay. Like Se that. Second question, since, so you're going to leave it like that? Or much so this is a high-efficiency boiler. Yeah. And it's got, it condensates, so this line right here is condensating, mm -hmm. and it's dumping right on the floor. It doesn't even have a pump. There should be a condensate pump, mm -hmm. where that drains into the pump, and it gets pumped out. Mm -hmm. They're just dumping the condensate right on the floor. I mean, I mean, I don't care that it goes on the floor. I can put a pan under there, for that matter, if that's, if that's... Well, for now, we could put a bucket under it, but that's an issue. That should be, that should go to a drain. You know, do you have a drain here? No, you don't have no drain. Uh, there's, there's, I don't know, there's, I don't know, there's, there's something here. What is this? This is not really a drain. But I don't know what it is. Yeah, so that should be, that's something, they're just dumping it on the floor. I mean, for now, you can put a bucket under it, but yeah, that I has to be addressed. Okay. Well, I can address that. I can address that. Yeah, so that's what that's where your water's coming from. Okay. I mean, you just bought this house, and, you know, you would figure the guy that did the job would have did a better job than that. Yeah, now, also, somebody told me this, this here shouldn't be like this. It should be facing outside. That should be taking outside air, but it's not. You're sucking in. It's, it's bringing in makeup air from inside the building. Yeah. Which they should have brought two lines. Yeah. Taking one, yeah. one fresh air in from outside and exhausting in the other one. Okay. Is that something else that needs to be fixed? That's not so critical. Okay. I mean, it will work like that. Yeah. Well, okay. Usually, I, you take in outside air and right. bring exhaust. Yeah. You know, I'd like to. Feel this is an old house. I mean. Right. I, I wouldn't I, worry about it down here. No. Uh, I I like to fix what needs to be fixed originally. Well, your tempering valve is a problem. Okay. So we know yeah. that's that's a problem. You don't have no uh, condensate pump here yeah. where that should drain into a condensate pump and then get pumped out okay. but I'm just trying to think where we could where we could dump it. You got a washing machine down here I a drain? Everything's on the second floor my washing machine. You don't have no traps down here no nothing huh? I don't know what a trap is. No. What's all this stuff? I have no idea what this stuff is. This is all wide open. We could probably put a trap right there and dump it in. What's all this stuff? This is all blocked. This is all wide open. Okay so this is something that's not usable but they just didn't take it out. They left it there. Is that what I it don't is? know. I mean, look at that. That's kind of crazy. What is it? 
Oh, you mean like it's an open top? Well, it's a pipe. Yeah. It's wide open. It's not even capped. So that means it, it, it's, it's nothing that they... I don't know where this goes in the ground. I mean, that's not capped. I, I could put a trap on that. This is capped. This one's wide open. Not getting no sewer gas. No. Where does this go outside? I have no idea. It goes out through that wall. I mean, I don't know where it goes. That looks like it's the back of the, my, my back porch. Believable, huh? You tell me. You tell me. Here's the main plumbing. You get a little dirty area here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. I mean, I don't know why they didn't cover it in when they put the floor in. You know, I don't know why that's like that. I don't know why there's, there's no cement there. There's a couple of questions I have for somebody, but I don't know who to talk to. Yeah, so definitely... Um we got an issue here. You got a bucket for now to put under that? Um, I can find a bucket. Yeah, uh, like a little small bucket, at least to catch the water for you know now. What? Let me just put this right underneath it. Can I put this under there? Yeah, for now. Just for, the, just for now until I figure out what I, what I do have that I can put. Yeah, put that. No, it's got to go under the pipes. Under that. Yeah, there you go. Just for now to catch that. Okay. We'll see how much it, I'd like to see how much it catches. Well, in the, in the it's a condensating boiler, so when it runs, it condensates and it yeah. drips. Yeah, yeah. All right, so let me see if I can get this. This uh, it's just a three-quarter one. That's all it is. Mhm. Mm three-quarter tempering valve. Mm -hmm. You want to get that fixed? At least you have hot water for now, right? Definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of the condensing pipe. pipe you know, the next one. That'll be fine. Like put a little pump here, but we have to pump it somewhere. That's the thing. Yeah, we have to be able to pump it, and we don't want to. We pump it outside; it's going to freeze in the winter time. So yes. I'd rather pump it inside somewhere. So when you pump it inside, like underground, is that what you? No, mean? I usually go to like a plumbing drain, like a washing machine drain. I have a washing machine upstairs now. What floor? Second floor. Well, that's way up. I'd rather just go to the. I mean, go... but the pipes from the second floor have to be down here, don't they? Yeah, see, it's dripping already. See, it's already dripping? Yeah. yeah. That crazy shit, huh? You never know what you're going to find. Boy, I'll say. And you know they didn't put any electricity down here? I, 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 don't, I couldn't find one switch or anything for an electrical outlet. No? No, so I have to get all electric outlets that dump down here. Yeah, now isn't this plumbing for the my my? Yeah, but we just can't tap into that. I like to trap tap into a, a, a P trap oh, somewhere, yeah, which, yeah. which they don't have anything, yeah. you know? Unless we use this this setup, whatever this is. Yeah, I mean, if if you if as far as I know, if I could put a trap on it and I, you know try it. And I mean, if it starts overflowing, then we know it's no good, right? So you would put a. You would put I would put a trap right there on that. See that pipe sticking out right there? I put a there. P trap. Yeah. And then I would run a line, a plastic line from here over to the condensate pump. Yeah. And then it would pump into here and drain into the ground. That should be connected, but I don't know. I mean, who knows what this shit's connected to, right? I don't know. I have no idea. What do we got on this side? It's just the rest of the cellar. It's like a... Crawl space? Yeah, kind of like dirt. Well, we could dump it in there, too. Could just, yeah. Is that I just dirt? Covered because it's a lot of cold air, and, you know, in the wintertime, I'm trying to keep... Oh, it's just a condensate. It ain't going to matter. It's dirt, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all dirt. Just to keep, you can just pump it right into there, obviously. Yeah, why don't we just do that? Because that's not going to freeze. And that's all, it's a crawl space dirt. You can't, no. how do you get in there? From here? From here or outside is a way of getting in there, too. Be careful. It's just dirt. No, no rats going to get me? <laughs> if they do, I'm going to run. Yeah, we could probably just, you know, it's just a little dirt, crawl, dirt space. Yeah. I mean, ain't gonna, ain't gonna kill nothing dumping it in here, I guess. No, it's, uh, it'll, it'll go right into the ground. Just dump it in over here with no drain in, you know. Yeah, be careful with the dirt. It's just all, it's all dirt. Unbelievable. Yeah. I wouldn't put this here because I, I just wanted to see the, the whatever was. Out what a flipping there. shit show, huh? Tell me about it. Well, it's a new house. They flipped it. They, 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 they flipped it, it on you. They give it the old flipperoo. I'm sorry? They give it the old... I could try putting a P-trap on here and see what happens. I mean, what do you got to lose? I th I'd rather do that. Yeah. 
And if it starts backing up, we could dump it in this dirt spot. Okay. That would be, that'd be the best thing, right? It's up to you. You're the uh, expert, not me. So, I'll hmm. do whatever you say. <coughs> Careful. Yeah, we've got to definitely get a condensate drain on that. Okay. And we'll pump it. Uh, like I said, we'll pump now, it over there, put a trap. Now, you say put a pump, to, will the pump like work automatically on its own? No, it needs, it needs power. You don't have power down here. No, I don't. That's probably why they didn't put it. Why the fuck did we just put a power? Well, they got they got we got power right here. I could put a plug off of this. See this? Yes. One ten coming in. Yeah. I could put a plug right here, and we could plug it right in. Oh, okay. Well, you're a genius. I'm a genius, all <laughs> right. Genius. Yeah, you can see it dripping right in there. Yeah, see it? Yeah, I see it. Yeah. I'm a genius. <laughs> yeah. Well, they told me that you're the expert on these these kind of models. And they also said, somebody told me also that these have to be primed once a year or something like that. Is that something? They should be cleaned and maintained. Just like any other furnace would be. Well, maintained. these more so. Really? Yeah, they need to be cleaned, taken apart and cleaned and all that stuff. Okay, so that's something you do once a year? Once a year, once every other year at the most. I mean, every well, year and a half. I mean, I okay. want to go too far worse than that. It would you know? be two years in September that I've had it now, yeah. so I could have it. Now, do you do that? or? Do yeah, you I could do that, yeah. Yeah, okay. Going to take it apart. Going to clean it all out because it gets like little sediment in there. Yeah. And if you don't clean that sediment out of out of the heat exchanger yeah. where, where, where the flame is, yeah. it gets acidic and then we threw, threw, threw the heat exchanger. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand it's overlooking anything. This is those gas... These are those, that's gas pipe. Look at that shit. That's them press fittings that they use on gas pipe. That's scary shit. I like, uh, I like everything threaded. But that's new age, you know? Embrace the technology, they say, right? Uh, well, that's what they say. I don't exactly yeah, believe it all. It's like, it's like shock bite. They just stick them right on there. Oh, that's something. Oh. All right, so let me, let me get up, let me get a shot of this, this temp, yeah. this tempering valve. Yeah, well, the temperature of the water is my main concern right now, and then I work on the, then naturally I'll do the other thing. Because I know. See, that thing went right up again. Yeah, and look, the water went all the way, yeah, because you had it down anyway, but it doesn't go any higher than 100, huh? Nope, that's because this tempering valve's bad. Wow. It should go to 150, it says. Is that what it says? That's okay, it so, says. so would by doing that, would you still have to check the valves in the showers to see how they're set as well? No, we got we got to get this set for us. Okay. Now, did your did your son shut the water off at the kitchen sink? I don't know. Let me let me see me up. Yeah, I bet you he did shut oh, it off. You shut that water off in the kitchen. Leave it running, please. Oh, okay. It is running. All right, leave it in the hot position. I turned it all the way up. I want to make it's in the hot position. It's all the way up and it's climbing now, but it was only going to go to about 100, and then that's yeah. going to be it. So we yeah, got a bad the problem. And then this is set at 140. Which is that's that's no. That's fine. 140 yeah. is fine. I okay. mean. Okay. Yeah, see, I can't, I can't, I can't hold that pipe. Right. If I could hold that pipe, it's 120. So I, I see this. Put your hand over there. You can't, you can't put no, your hand. No, right, and that's how it should. So be. that's 140. Okay. Okay. You could hold your hand on 120. Yeah. And the maximum it's going up to is looks like 90, 95. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get up. It's getting up to 100. So we got a bad, we got a bad tempering valve there, and I got it turned all the way up. Yeah. And that's right in this section. That's right that there. one right there. Yeah. I'm gonna try to get the same exact one, but if not, I can get something else. The 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 nut should fit on there. Okay. All I hope. Right. Now, how often do you have to work on these? Do you have a lot of people that have these? I mean, they seem to be like the new thing to do, you know. Not to, not for me, they're not. No, I, told, I know. I told my customers, don't don't do it. <laughs> I wish somebody would have told me. Well, this was already on the house. I didn't. I would have told them, I would have told you, don't do it. Put in a regular boiler. But no, mm -hmm. they want the rebate, you know? <laughs> I didn't get a rebate. All right, so I just left that job. I got to get a tempering valve for her. I got to get a condensate pump. And um, we'll run a line over to that. Run a line.
line over to that inch and a half that's going into the ground, put a P trap in it, dump it in there for now. Clean up that piping a little bit that's going into the ground there. And uh, it's only a condensate line. Guy's got it dumping on the ground, doesn't even have it going anywhere. Can't have that. No wonder where all the water's coming from around the condensate boiler. I'm gonna have to put. A, I'm gonna have to take that uh, electric switch that's there, take that plate off, and put a, a plug switch combo so I can plug the pump in. That's only 110. That's no big deal there. And then, um, nice lady. And then probably have to clean the boiler. I'll take the boiler all apart and give it a good cleaning. It's been in a couple of years. But I gotta get that tempering valve first thing, and I get the pump, and I'll do all that easy enough. Things just never cease to amaze me, the way people work, the way people do stuff. Didn't even have any drains off the bottom of that boiler. It's all pro-press, no drains, nowhere. There's no way of draining nothing. I guess I could crack the tempering valve to drain the, uh, the water out of the boiler. <laughs> Unbelievable. Shock bites on the gas pipe. Shock bite fins on a gas pipe. It's like, holy shit, mama. Only in America. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, only in America, Molly. Only in America, Molly. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the shit show. Welcome to the shit show. Thank you.